Bienvenidos, welcome to another fabulous episode of Spain on a Fork. You know guys, summer is in full bloom and there is nothing better than a refreshing salad in a hot day. So that is what we are doing today. We are making an authentic ensalada valenciana. This is a very typical salad from the region of Valencia. It's made with a beautiful array of ingredients, has an amazing flavor to it and it's very easy to make. This is the kind of salad that has so many different elements to it that it's basically a complete meal in one dish absolutely delicious. Now really quick before we get started, a couple recommendations. For the first thing, I'm using romaine lettuce to make this salad, but you can use whatever type of uh, lettuce that you like. For the second thing, make sure you use tin Spanish tuna. Guys, Spain is famously known for making the best tin tuna in the world. Don't miss out on that. And last but not least, make sure you use a good quality extra virgin olive oil, as this is what brings all these beautiful flavors together to give this salad that magical touch. You guys will find links in the description box below to all these amazing ingredients. All right, folks, let's get started. We're gonna begin by hard boiling two organic eggs, add them into a saucepan, and then fill it with cold water to about an inch above the eggs. And then heat it with a high heat. Once this comes to a boil, I'm gonna place a lid on top of the pan and lower the fire to a low heat. And we're gonna simmer these for exactly nine minutes for perfection in hard boiled eggs. The size of these eggs are medium. So if your eggs are a little bit larger, go about 11 minutes. After simmering our eggs for exactly nine minutes, I'm gonna turn off the heat, remove the lid, drain the water, and rinse the eggs under some cold running water. While our eggs are cooling off, let's move on to the next ingredients. I've got a head of romaine lettuce here. The way I like to cut this is I like to remove the leaves and stack them. Then I'm gonna tightly roll the leaves, cut it right down the middle, and start chopping the lettuce. Then I'm gonna add the cut romaine lettuce into a salad spinner. Make sure you rinse it under some cold running water and then spin it to remove any of the excess water. If you don't have a salad spinner, that's okay. Just make sure that you completely pat down your lettuce with a dishcloth. Once your lettuce is clean and dry, transfer it into a large shallow bowl. Next up, I'm gonna grab half of a brown onion. I always like to remove between two to three of the outer layers. This just gives the onion a better texture and it makes it a lot easier to cut. And thinly slice the onion. Before I add the onions into the salad, I like to mix them around. This helps loosen them up. And sprinkle the onions over the salad. Moving on, I've got two large ripe tomatoes. We're gonna cut these into wedges. I like to cut the tomato in half, and then cut each half in half. And as you can see, you can easily get wedges this way. Once you have all your tomatoes cut into wedges, add them on top of the salad. Next up, I'm gonna grab some green pimento stuffed Spanish olives and sprinkle like between 15 to 20 on top of the salad. For the next ingredient, I've got some jarred white asparagus here. These are absolutely amazing. They have such a great texture and flavor to them. Uh, they're very fragile, so make sure you drain them and then add them into a plate with some paper towels and gently pat them dry. And I'm gonna add a couple of the asparagus on top of the salad. Now I'm gonna season everything with some fine sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. Next up, I've got two tins of Spanish tuna in extra virgin olive oil. To drain the oil from the tuna, I like to add the tuna into a sieve with a bowl underneath for an easy cleanup. And add the Spanish tuna on top of the salad. Okay, let's move back to our hard boiled eggs. At this point, they should be cool enough to handle. Let's go ahead and remove the shells. And gently cut each hard boiled egg in half lengthwise. And add the hard boiled eggs on top of the salad. For the final touches, I'm gonna sprinkle it with some jarred corn. This is gonna add a beautiful sweet flavor to this salad. 
and then drizzle it with a good quality extra virgin olive oil. This is gonna bring all these flavors together and this salad is ready to go. Okay guys, our ensalada valenciana is done. Look at this, this looks absolutely amazing. This serves about four people, but I'm seriously debating eating this all by myself today. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. So many amazing ingredients to the salad. It's kind of hard to get everything one bite, but hey, I tried my best. Here we go. Simply beautiful. There's such an amazing marriage of flavors here between all these ingredients. You get that sweetness from that, a little bit of corn we added at the end. The tomatoes just bring up beautiful freshness. Lots of protein here, thanks to the tuna, the hard-rolled eggs. This is an amazing salad. This is what Spain is all about, especially here in the region of Palenque. This is a beautiful Mediterranean salad, very healthy, easy to make. Uh, before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to one of my patrons, Robert Jefferson, AKA the Kamakura Gardener. Again, thank you so much for all your support. You know that I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not a patron of Spain Iron Fork, you'll find my link in the description box below. You know, you've become a patron, he's basically helped me out with the cost of running Spain on Fork so I can continue to go to buy ingredients to continue to do new recipes. And if you become a uh, shout out patron, I'll shout out your name at the end of a video at least once a month. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Until the next time, hasta luego. Wait a second, really quick before I go, I'm gonna try one of these asparagus. These look so good. Wow, what a beautiful texture and flavor to these. Again, guys, I will see you in the next video. Hasta luego.